for the spinal spine use this curvilinear probe and this is the aspect marker and we have to keep the aspect marker usually i prefer to keep it towards the head so that we can see the structure the left side of the screen will be superior in our all longitudinal scans and the right side of the screen will be towards the sacrum so let's start with a midline spinal view first and let me show you the midline first so see when i am putting like this at the midline we can see the spinous processes so this is the midline view let me start from the lateral side now what we are doing from the lateral side i am just coming towards the midline gradually i am coming towards the midline this is from the right side and when i am coming from the mid middle from the no 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 don't move so first we'll see some finger like projections so this is the section of the transverse processes and in between this you can see the intertransverse ligament and slightly below i am just freezing and drawing okay so these are the intertransverse ligaments and below it is the swas and this you cannot see anything because of the acoustic shadowing so this looks like a trident and this is known as the trident view now we are from the trident view we are coming further in so let me back and move to the trident view you can see the trident view now now from this trident view i am moving slightly more in so what we are expecting you should expect then you then we will tell that what what it is so what you can expect in it the next view uh, yes towards the head this projection is from the articular uh, this facet joint and then there is another hump there is another hump these are the mammillary bodies and this is known as the articular pillar views now as we come slightly more towards the center from this camelom view as we move slightly more then you see now the picture changes so now it is looking more like a head of a horse or it is also known as the horse head view so i am just increasing a little bit okay so in this horse head view i am just increasing gain a little bit in the lower portion then you can see the pgc we are just increasing then you can see some echoes from this anterior portion of horse head they are going in okay i am just trying to increase the depth to show you those echoes better see now can you see these echoes especially see in the right side of the screen you can see in between two horse heads some echoes are going in towards the anterior side they are reflecting back from the posterior side of the vertebral body so this is the see here it is clear now a portion also we can make it clear okay so this is the anterior complex above also it is coming so it is a little bit faint but it is coming depend on you will move up then it will be clear so you can see now the all the anterior complexes will come here so that we can count at this level so in the paramedian sagittal view we can count now if we want to increase this okay so by seeing this anterior complexes we can count the vertebral level okay i'm defreezing and going now to increase this echogenicity we can go a little bit oblique so that we can see more of this echoes going in okay see in above portion also we can see a bright shiny echoes as well we can go further up and we can see more and more echoes so in that way we can count the vertebra in this paramedian sagittal oblique view so i am just going up and showing you how you can see this anterior complexes one by one one then one i am coming down okay so in that way we can 
count the vertebral level by seeing these anterior complexes. So now we are moving towards the further in that is at the where from where we have started at the midline. Now one of the things in the midline is that now it will be very much superficial. Okay. Now see now echoes are deflecting from a very superficial surface. So that means we are at the midline. So what we need to do here, we need to decrease the depth to see it better. Okay. Now we can see the echoes are deflecting from the just one minute, I can make it more clear, then it will be much easier for you. Now you can see these are the spinous processes, decreasing, increasing the depth further. So now at this point, so let me ask you, so see what I am doing because for you it, this understanding is very important that when I are moving up and down, can you change the picture change? Let me reduce the depth. And then ask you, see, when I am moving up and down here and here, can you see a picture change? Just try to focus at this level. So this is one picture that is in between the spines because here we can see some amount of the anterior complex. You can see from here, these are the anterior complexes. Here it is a little less because it is traversing from a long way. Here we can see the portion of the anterior complex. Here we can see a open facet joint. So if we have to go for the facet joint injection, we can come in this view and inject here at this point. So it will be the facet joint injection at this point. So this is the intraspinous view. Now, if you want to go for the spinous process view, just try to follow this picture and move slightly up when the echo below is vanishing. And another shine is arising from the lateral side. See, and the shine is coming here. Here you can see, and here also a shine comes. And this shine here, what you are previously seeing, they are now gone. Previously you are seeing some here, some here, but they are gone now. So this is where it is reflecting from the tip of the spinous process, and you cannot see the reflex from this anterior complex. So that was the spinous view. So I think understanding this all together, Seven views is very, very important for the lumbar spine and the lumbar spine procedures. So in the lumbar spine, you should learn the counting and you should learn all the seven views. So what are the seven views? First, it is the sagittal. If you go from the lateral to medial, in the first will come is the transverse process view, also known as the trident view. Then it will come to the just over the articular pillar or it is the camilla view. Then it will go over the lamina, that is the horset view. Then it will be the paramedian oblique sagittal, through which we will be able to see the anterior complexes in a brighter way. It will help in counting as well. That is the paramedian oblique sagittal view. Then you can go for the sagittal view, median sagittal view that I have shown. These are five are the longitudinal views. And these two, spinal and the intraspinous, these are the transverse views. So counting these seven views, 